Over the last few days, Israel's strongest ally, the U.S., has been voicing its concern over the war against Hamas. It has dispatched advisors, urban warfare and experts, as well as sophisticated air defense systems to Israel. And this triggered reports saying that the U.S. had urged Israel to delay its ground offensive into Gaza to secure its interests. President Joe Biden has now clarified that America has made no such demand. What I have indicated to him is that if that's possible to get these folks out safely, that's what he should do. It's their decision. But I did not demand it. I pointed out to him, if it's real, it should be done. On the ground, however, the U.S. has significantly increased its military presence in West Asia. The Pentagon is sending its Patriot missile defense systems while also repositioning its Eisenhower strike group. The U.S. says its build-up is aimed at preventing a wider regional war. Its Navy will have a carrier strike group off the shore of Israel, the Fort Carrier Strike Group and the Eisenhower Strike Group. The moves are also seen as the U.S. preparing Israel for a potential ground invasion of Gaza. The fresh U.S. deployments come in the wake of increased attacks on the U.S. Army base camps in Iraq as well as Syria since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war. 24 American troops have been injured in these attacks. The Pentagon saying between October 17 and October 24, American and Allied forces in Iraq and Syria have been targeted at least 13 times with drones and rockets. The Biden administration is also preparing for the possibility of evacuating hundreds of thousands of American citizens from West Asia. According to the U.S. State Department estimates, there were about 600,000 U.S. citizens in Israel and another 86,000 were believed to be in Lebanon when Hamas attacked. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.